What are bilateral investment treaties? Foreign investments are often protected by a vital instrument in international law known as bilateral investment treaty. A BIT is a treaty between two countries aimed at protecting investments made by investors of both countries. BITs protect investments by imposing conditions on the regulatory behavior of the host state thus preventing undue interference with the foreign investors rights these conditions include restricting host states from unlawfully confiscating investments imposing responsibilities on host states to accord fair and equitable treatment to foreign investment and not to discriminate against foreign investment BITs also empower foreign investors to directly sue the host state before an international tribunal if the investor believes that the host state has breached its treaty obligations. This is known as investor state dispute settlement. National treatment, that is treating foreign investors at par with domestic companies, fair and equitable treatment in accordance with international law, protection from expropriation, that is limiting each country's ability to take over foreign investments in its territory, etc., are some of the underlying principles of BITs. India had released a new model bilateral investment treaty in 2016. This model treaty represents a significant shift from India's earlier BITs aiming to balance investor protections with the government's ability to regulate in the public interest. Some of the features of India's model bilateral investment treaty 2016 are number 1 narrower definition of investment. The new model provides a more restrictive definition of what constitutes an investment focusing on characteristics such as commitment of capital and the expectation of gain or growth. Number two, exclusion of most favored nation clause. Unlike many traditional bilateral investment treaties, the new model does not include an MFN clause which obligates countries to extend to each other any more favorable treatment given to investors from any third country. Number 3. Limited, fair and equitable treatment. The model specifies limited conditions under which investors can claim fair and equitable treatment focusing on the denial of justice under due process. Number 4. Exclusion of taxation measures. The model excludes taxation measures from the scope of the BIT responding to disputes that have arisen from tax related measures in the past. Number five, pre establishment commitments subject to negotiation. The model does not automatically allow for the pre establishment rights of investors, that is, market access or right to invest, but leaves these to be negotiated between the parties. Number six, investor state dispute settlement reforms. The model introduces a more stringent process for resolving disputes between investors and the state, including requirements for exhaustion of local remedies and a time frame within which claims must be brought. This brings us to the end of our video. We hope that you found it informative for your exam preparations. Please click on the like button, share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching this. I will see you in our next.